where we're going, huh? Uh, I think it was a natural outcome. Uh, tax increases and reckless spending have consequences, and the consequences uh, are that uh, the producers in this society, the people who create wealth uh, as opposed to the people who redistribute it, are going on strike in small ways and large, Neil. Um, and you, know, you mentioned the $250,000 uh, tax increase threshold, uh, and there is a, a bunch of uh, anecdotal evidence accumulating uh, that people re are responding to those disincentives. There are, they're instituting hiring freezes in their small businesses. Uh, they're simply de deciding to work less. And I I'm hearing this. My mailbox is full uh, of, of uh, letters and messages from people um, who are saying, you know what? We're disgusted. Enough is enough. Uh, we're not going to, to, to go the extra mile uh, to simply have the government confiscate uh, earnings that that rightfully belong to what, us what and, and are redistributed they, to people who don't deserve it. I'm sorry, Michelle. What do you think of what a lot of the rich folks did when we had a 70% top rate or 90% top rate years before that? They just shelter the income or shift a lot of it abroad or they find some shelter and the government thinking it's going to get all this money doesn't get all this money. Right. And when they can find no more safe harbors, they will simply stop working. Uh, there is a phenomenon that a, a friend of mine, a blogger in, in Tennessee, Helen Smith, diagnosed uh, right before the election when we saw what the outcome was going to be. And she called it going galt. And, and this, of course, is a reference to uh, the famous Ayn Rand novel, Atlas Shrugged, where the protagonist, John Galt, called a general strike among uh, the wealth producers in society. Um, and of course, you know, people aren't completely stopping work. Working, um, but you see this, and there are letters to the editor with people walking through. It isn't just the income tax rates; it's not just uh, the marginal tax rates that are affecting them. But they add in, you know, 25% of federal income tax, and then another 10% for state taxes, right. and then 15.3%, and, yeah. and up and up you go. And, and guess what? People are uh, registering uh, their uh, their displeasure uh, with their checkbooks. Michelle, thank you. I think Michelle Malkin. All right, well, still big, still bad, still a target. If you think big oil is a big villain in memory, you might want to think again.